The Trump budget that will pull funds from the arts and public broadcasting has sparked a unique protest. Alex Dimitri reports it's a response being fought with Easter eggs. The White House Easter egg roll is a tradition for Natalie Rebetsky. My kids love the Easter egg roll. She's attended when Democrats have been president. She's attended when a Republican was in office, but she's skipping President Trump's turn. I don't feel that our current president is very inviting to families and children. I think many of his policies say the opposite. Specifically, Trump's plans to cut funding for the arts and public broadcasting. So she bought 1,000 souvenir wooden Easter eggs from the same company that supplies the White House and added her own message. It says protect our children's future and I could offer it as an alternative to the traditional White House egg. Using GoFundMe, Rebetsky is selling her alt eggs from her Sykesville home for $15 each, $10 of which will go to the arts and PBS. So this is my, my way of, of giving back. We are the For Rebetsky, it started with the Women's March in January and a first taste of activism. The budget threats to PBS and the arts gave her a cause she could rally behind. And I think all of us have love for our country. We're just expressing it in different ways. And the response? We've sold about 500 eggs. These eggs are on a roll. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. <laughs> The White House was asked for a response to the alternative egg project, but declined to comment. It did say the traditional Easter egg roll will take place as usual.